Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another 3D Wednesday with my design team and myself. Um, first of all, before I start my project, I wanted to let you know that this die as well as my, let me grab it for you, as well as, so these two dies, my bubblegum treat that, um, my, what is this one called, bubblegum treat box and my stitched lollipop holder die. I cannot keep these in stock. These are a huge, huge hit right now. Um, it doesn't matter how many I order, it, they still sell out right away. So I have another, and I apologize for the inconvenience for those of you who, who've been waiting for them. Um, I have another shipment coming in on Friday. So cross our fingers they will be on Friday I kind of had a rush order for them um, so anyways like I said they'll be back in on Friday and I apologize f um, for the inconvenience again for everybody who's trying to order them so anyways so hopefully that helps um, with some questions that some of you have had for me um, and also let's see for today's project I am going to be using this one here this is the bubblegum treat box. I simply love it, okay? Um, and then I'm going to be using my handy dandy um, scallop and stitch circle die set. And this one comes with the two sets. And I used this um, for the flowers in my video yesterday. Okay, I actually got everything cut out, okay? What I did was I, as I'm playing with this little box more and more, I highly recommend instead, and I know I did it on video a couple of times, how I use the ATG gun. Don't use the ATG gun because it will come apart. I highly recommend the score tape, and let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is it right here, okay? Um, and basically, it's really, it's thin enough, it's like maybe a quarter inch, and you rip it off, you don't need no scissors or anything, but this is definitely, definitely what I recommend for these boxes, okay? So anyways, what I'm going to do, um, let me go ahead and take the little tape off first, and it's like a little double-sided, you know? But it's a good strong holding one that will hold this box together perfectly, okay? So if you're gonna make like a whole bunch of these, don't use your ATG gun. I use my ATG gun for time purposes, you know, for the, I don't want to spend all day gluing something down just for the video so um, that's why I use the ATG gun because it was a lot quicker okay so I'm just oops <laughs> princess hold on I have princess in here with me she's a little wild she keeps moving my camera here okay so there we go right there we got it together and then I'm going to use, remember these lollipops here, let me just quickly show you, that I used for my little flowers yesterday. I actually, ha I forgot I had these. These are little pops, isn't <laughs> that so cute? Um, and basically what they are, they're just a smaller version of that lollipop, but they're just come individually, okay? This is going to be my first time using these in the box, so let's go ahead and see um, how many fit in here but before we do that I want to do some stamping really quickly because I need to figure out what color ribbon I'm going to use to tie the ends there okay so I'm feeling a little springy okay so I want to use something that has to do with spring today that paper um, that I use this right here before I forget and this these two papers are from and I ordered it from the craft channel um, it's from My Mind's Eye, and it's called the Laundry Line Flirty Pack. Really cute, cute paper. So anyways, let me grab this right here, and we are going to use this ink here I just picked up from um, Mr. Cricket Crazy site. This is called Magenta, I'm not sure if it's Hue or Who, Magenta Who. So anyways, I'm going to use this today, okay? And we are going to take out an awesome stamp here. You know what? Hold on one second. 
Okay, let me go ahead and get this all inked up for you. And I'm going to put this right in the center. Okay, I'm not sure if it's quite in the center, but... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Happy spring. Super duper cute. Okay, and then I'm going to get some pretty little flowers here. And go ahead and just stamp this right in the center. Let's see, how should I do this? There we go. Happy spring. Isn't that pretty? By the way, this is a little sneak of a sneak I'm giving you right now. Isn't that so super duper cute? Okay, I'm just keeping it simple. Okay, so I'm going to get this on here like so. Happy spring. And that's going to go just like that. Super simple today, you know. We're keeping it simple. So what I'm going to do, let's see. I'm definitely going to raise this up. Let me just kind of do a little bit of um, inking on here really quickly. And I'm just grabbing the one I had yesterday. Obviously, I didn't put it away. <laughs> um, this is that photo vintage photo. I need to... Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do, let me see what color rib... Let me check my ribbon stash really fast. Actually, I'm going to use this little pretty pink, um, pink sheer ribbon I had here. I just happen to have this on hand. Okay. So basically how you do this box, all you need is a little adhesive for the, just to get it closed. And then on the end, you know, just to, you know, cover the clothes, like I showed you where we put the score tape. And then to close up each end, all you're going to need is a little piece of ribbon, twine, um, whatever you want. You could use the little princess. No. Okay, you could use the little, um, what do you call it? My favorite toolie, if you'd like to. Okie dokie. As you can see, I totally changed my mind with the ribbon. I wasn't really feeling that other one. I figured, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the little tiny poke, the itty bitty bot dot ribbon um, from Paper Tray Ink. I think that's what it's called. I could have just made that up. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just pop this up right behind here. And these are, uh, somebody asked me what kind of pop dots are these, and these are from Scrap, the brand is Scrapbook Adhesives, and I love them. Love, love, love. Okay, so this is just going to simply go just right in the center. Super duper cute, quick which I love super duper cute and quick that's what I love about all of my dies because that's exactly what they are you could make a, the cutest little box that looks like it's taken you forever to create but you didn't one two three okay so anyways everybody I hope you enjoyed my project for today you definitely need to check back on my design team so if you're watching over at YouTube um, go ahead visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com and so you can see their fabulous, fabulous projects that they made for this day today. Okay, I will see you back here tomorrow morning, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.